In the philosophy of science, observations are said to be theory-laden when they are affected by the theoretical presuppositions held by the investigator. The thesis of theory-ladenness is most strongly associated with the late 1950s and early 1960s work of Norwood Russell Hansen, Thomas Kuhn, and Paul Feyerabend, and was probably first put forth by Pierre Duhem about 50 years earlier forms. Two forms of theory lardenness should be kept separate. The semantic form. The meaning of observational terms is partially determined by theoretical presuppositions, the perceptual form. The theories held by the investigator, at a very basic cognitive level, impinge on the perceptions of the investigator. The former may be referred to as semantic and the latter as perceptual theory lardenness. In a book showing the theory lardenness of psychiatric evidences, Massimiliano Aragona distinguished three forms of theory lardenness. The weak form was already affirmed by Popper. The strong form was sustained by Kuhn and Feyerabend, with their notion of incommensurability. However, Kuhn was a moderate relativist and maintained the Kantian view that although reality is not directly knowable, it manifests itself, resisting to our interpretations. On the contrary, Feyerabend completely reversed the relationship between observations and theories, introducing an extra strong form of theory lardenness in which anything goes.